Okay. This uh, turned up in the mail a couple of days ago. Finally had a chance to open it up and have a bit of a look at it. It's a um, 2x25 watt Class D uh, module by Shure Electronics. Um, I have to say their postage is a bit slack. Uh, it's taken a month and a half, a uh, month and a half, nearly two months for this to turn up uh, from China. Um, but this thing is a beast. It's got some decent weight to it. It's huge. Um, basically what this is, it's a unit for, well, I'm going to use this to replace um, two of the channels and the Marantz unit for one of my previous videos. Um, this here will happily live on the plus minus 55 volt supply inside the Marantz. Um, the challenge will be just finding somewhere to mount it, but that shouldn't be too much drama. But basically, because one of the channels in that Marantz are dead, um, or one of the surround channels, what I'm going to do is repurpose uh, the two front channels off the original amp module um, inside the Marantz, and that'll become the surround channels, uh, which means there'll be one channel sitting there doing nothing, but that's okay, got no need for it at the moment. Um, and then this here will go in and this will become the front channel drivers. Basically that unit by factory is a 2x75 or 2x80 watt, um, oh, 80 watts a channel, uh, RMS. So this here will give it a bit more of a boost on the front channels, uh, which will be good in stereo mode. And in surround mode, I'll be able to just balance it out using the channel levels. Um, and this won't, well, this should be able to survive with that and work quite nicely. Uh, be interesting how it goes when I actually go to install it, but um, yeah, it should be fun, I reckon. Look around the board here. Um, what they've done is the power goes in in here. Um, they've got a couple of wire links just down in the board there, uh, which sets up the plus minus supply for each of the channels. Um, each of the channels are completely separate, um, but identical. Um, I don't know what this bridge wire here is. I'm assuming it's just grounding or something like that. But, uh, looking at the traces, actually, let's look at the traces as they go around. Yeah, that's all the, um, that's all the, uh, negatives. Basically, it's the speaker negative, uh, the negatives for each of the speakers, um, the the ground connection of the center tap, and all that sort of stuff. Very interesting design. Um, there's a couple of little additions in there as well. Now, it'll be interesting what it's, how it sounds. It's got some weight to it. Um, I dare say only... Well, half of that'll be the uh, heat sink, which is quite hefty. Um, but yeah, it's it's a proper decent heavy board too. That is very nice. We've got RCA sockets at the at this side here. Uh, got the speaker out terminals there and there. Um, and uh, yeah, well, there's a couple of connections on the board. This could actually be set up in a bridge mode, but they've solder bridged um, across here instead of using a set of jumpers, which I think would have been nice with a set of jumpers, but it doesn't matter. Um, if needed, that could be changed out with just desoldering that and rebridging it. Um, I think bridge, these will do um, somewhere up to about 300 watts a channel um, using for each one of these. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, now later on, I'll get it hooked up and see what it sounds like. See ya.